Hi, my name's Paul Green and I'm the creator of the Garden Planner app. This is a short video to tell you about the app and how to use it and how to get the best from it in your garden. And here we are inside the Garden Planner. This is the home screen, the screen that you'll see the most of. You can see up the top here we have a section that basically is the weather and information there about the moon planting that you can do. Here we have a section about what you can see with your plants and when they're going to be starting to harvest. So you can see here, this is my garden. I've got uh, a bit going on at the moment. Uh, I've got peas coming through. I've got cauliflower. I've got carrots as well, quite a few different sorts of carrots we lot in our house. Under here, you can see a section for what you can plant next. And that should cycle through everything in your garden that you want to plant next. Um, and if you want to plant directly from here, you can press on the icon for, in this instance, celery, and you can add that celery uh, seed straight away from there. You can also say whether you want to add it as a seed or whether you have it as an established plant. You might have already bought it from someplace, for example. Up here we have a date section, so if you decide that you want to plant something or remind yourself to plant something in June, for example, then you can use that section to set a reminder so that on the 11th of June you'll get a little reminder in the app that says you said you wanted to plant celery, um, how about you go outside and do it. So I'll add that in and come back and we should have celery appearing down here. That information about what you could plant next actually comes from your postcode, so it's kind of important that you can stick that in. We also have other pages that you can navigate through this section down here. We have the weather page. So that's what's happening in my area. I'm expecting a bit of rain, but not a lot. And I'm expecting a, a bigger set of rain later on in, in the week. So I can now plan my watering around what might be happening there. This page here is the Gantt page. And this is really where a lot of the work that you need to do will come from. I can go up to the top here and zoom so I get a, a longer or a shorter term view or an even longer term view for what's happening in my garden over the next year. My garlic there is uh, coming along okay. You can also see along the, the column right hand side here what I need to do next. So my artichoke, which has been in for quite a while now, I need to manure it and the broad beans are going to need watering and the fennel as well. Going, thinking back to what the weather page looked like, if it rains a lot then this won't actually turn on. It will just assume that the rains fall in your garden. So in this instance I'll say I'm going to water that today and I tick that off so I press that and that rolls over so that I know what the next thing to do is in the garden and I'll update that manuring as well. I can add a plant from here as well. So you type in what you're looking for. We have tomatoes as a general, you know, most people are planting tomatoes. But if I want to add in another section of broad beans, for example, I would type in broad beans. I would have them there and I would add them in. And they'll appear towards the, the bottom as a third planting in this instance. If I wanted to as well, I can actually tap on the icon and I can see what's coming up of the little section there that tells me all the information there about the, the plant, what is good to plant with it and what's not good to plant with it. And I can go through and see what the rest of that plant's life cycle is going to look like when I can start harvesting, those sorts of things. And finally over here we have a settings page and that's really just a place for you to go in and watch videos like this again at the bottom. And also, if you've missed out on the registration process at the start of this app, which we need to give you information about your, your weather and also what you can plant when, you can add it back in here. Also, you can back up your data into the cloud in case there's a problem with your, uh, with your iPad. And finally, we have a little uh, section up here, which is how you can contact us. So if you have a, a plant that you want to plant that's not in the database, you can come here and tell us about it. If there's a problem with the device, with weather, or anything like that, you can come through here and let us know what you think. And that's the app. I hope you enjoy using it. And that's it. We hope you enjoy using the app. And if you have any questions or want to tell us some stuff about what you think of the app, here's the email address.